So my last upload was two months ago. my channel today's video I'm gonna be updating you guys on all of my favorite products and some recent pickups that you guys have seen me review I just want to give y'all a quick update about those because I haven't seen y'all in a minute so I'm gonna start this video off with skin care actually no we're gonna start off with hair care because girl my hair has been thriving I know it's pulled back in a ponytail right now but listen I know we're three years into motherhood but let me tell you postpartum hair loss it took your girl out, okay? It took me down. It took me through the mud. I was in the trenches for a good minute, especially with my edges. Like, things had, I don't know, it was a turn for the worse. Like, my hair was healthy and thriving when I was pregnant. And then three months after I gave birth, poof. Clumps. Released. Right out the scalp. But my hair has been thriving lately. I told you guys a few videos back that I was going to be, like, cutting it and keeping it at a certain length until my hair was, like, evenly, like, full. And I think we kind of finally got there. I just have a few more inches to get off the ends until everything is like finally back to normal. But what I've been using lately on my hair, just on a daily basis, this Bond Smoother. So let me tell you guys what it's called, okay? So this is the first product. I use this a lot on my daughter's hair. Like I'll wet her hair and it's a leave-in styling treatment. It's the number six Bond Smoother. And I'll wet her hair, because her hair is a different texture from mine. Like real curly ringlets. And I'll wet her hair, run some of this leave-in in, and like define her curls with it. And it's so nice. But for my hair, like when I get to this stage right here where my hair is kind of like a week and a half out from being washed, I'll use this to kind of like put moisture back in it. And I'll also use the bonding oil. This is number seven. Oh, I really don't like oily hair. That is a major pet peeve for me. Like stiff not moving no bounce hair but this oil doesn't make my hair stiff and weighed down and so these two together i'll use like one pump of this one pump of this rub it in and like run it through my ends it makes my hair really easy to work through and it kind of smooths it out and adds moisture without being too heavy for me olaplex has been working i don't know about anybody else but i use their treatments i use their shampoo i use their conditioner and it's been working out just fine for me hair has been thriving hair has been growing we're happy so anyway, that's that. I just had to mention that hair care stuff because my hair is really doing well and I'm really trying to get my hair to grow nice and long again. Like I want my hair to be like past my bra and it's a journey. So now I'm gonna move on to my body care. And let me just say, I have been smelling so good lately. I have been smelling delectable. And the reason I know I have is because I've been getting compliments. Like I have been getting compliments. And I'm gonna show y'all later like the perfumes that I've been really getting complimented on because if I wasn't me and I smelled me, I would be all over me, okay? We're gonna start with the body wash. Most of the time I use Dove body wash. I try to stick to what I know because Dove works really well for my skin. Keeps me nice and supple, nice and moisturized, but all over TikTok, I have been seeing Saltair body wash, Santal Bloom. It's sold out every time I go to Target. The girls won't stop talking about it. I need to know what's so great about it. I wanna say this was like 10 or $11, so. It's a little bit more expensive than Dove. That right there had me like, okay, you better be good. But this is a serum body wash. It doesn't feel like that same nourishing moisture that I get with Dove. So let me show y'all what it looks like because I didn't even know what it was gonna look like when I first got it. But it definitely looks like, like a serum kind of vibe. I love the packaging. It's a little bit clunky to go in the shower, but, but it's pretty, like it's that tin business. Anyway, the scent, Santal Bloom smells like a softer version I don't want to say a softer version of Santel 33 from Le Labo because I've smelled Le Labo's Santel 33 and bleh, didn't like it. I don't know what it was, but it was giving pickle juice. This smells so good. It doesn't have that pickle juice smell that Santel 33 has and it's kind of like a super unisex, leaning masculine kind of scent. And then I saw Kyra, she's been talking about the Cremo Santel something body wash and that one smells really good too but I have to finish this before I get that one because I don't need to be having 25 body washes in the shower. I already have like five different ones and it, it's, <laughs> we've reached our peak. I need to slow down and I need to finish this. The one thing I don't like about this though is I just feel like it does not lather well at all. Terrible latheration. I should not be adding more product left and right to try to get some bubbles on my skin. Like when I'm bathing, I wanna see bubbles. I wanna see suds 
That's what makes me feel clean, and this is not giving. So the way that I've been using it is I'll use my Dove first, then I use my hands with this. Like I won't even put it on a washcloth because I feel like if you don't have a loofah and you use this, it's just, it's a waste. So I just pump it into my hands, spread it out, and I apply it all over my body with my hands, and I kinda just let it sit on my skin for a little bit before I rinse it off because I feel like the scent stays on the skin so well to prep for like perfume and oils and stuff. So yeah, that's a really good thing about it. The fragrance actually does last. And I see that they released a body mist and I do wanna try that out soon. The other thing that I heard from TikTok that I had to get on top of was the body lotion that everybody's talking about from EOS. Vanilla Cashmere Body Lotion. She's cute! She's actually really, really cute. She's good. I was using her a lot when I first got it, but like now that it's kind of warm outside, I don't know, vanilla right now is kind of not, mm, I don't know. It smells really, really good, but it's definitely, for me, more of like a winter, fall kind of scent. So when I first got this, I was using this left and right. This is so good, and like it pairs really well with Escapade Gourmand, the vanilla perfume that everybody's going nuts about, because they kind of have a similar kind of smell. The only thing is there is one issue with this, does not provide moisture, okay? It's not, it's, this is not gonna keep me ash free. And y'all know, if you've been on my channel, my skin gets ashy quick. Look, I'm ashy now, I need heavy duty, okay? I'm talking Aquaphor, Nivea, like I need something that's gonna be staying on my skin and creating a little bit of a barrier to stop the ash from breaking through. This doesn't do that for me, but I do like it for its scent. This was a good TikTok buy. These body care items, they're good. I don't use these together, but like separately, I really like the scent of both of them. If I had to pick one to recommend for right now, I would definitely say in the summertime, go for this because it's a really, really nice fragrance. I'm gonna show you guys what I layer in like a little concoction that I've been doing lately. Put y'all on because like I said, I've been smelling delectable. Now on to makeup, um, foundation. <sighs> foundation has not really been a thing for me lately. I tried, but it's hot. Okay, it's very hot out here. And I tried to wear my makeup Mario foundation like three times and every single time that I've worn it the smile lines were absolutely out of control I was doing like this trying to like press them in and blot them throughout the day because I was looking crazy and it also felt like it was sitting on my skin and y'all know I reviewed this foundation and I really liked it but at the time that I reviewed the foundation it wasn't so hot outside back when I reviewed this foundation I told y'all I didn't know what it was gonna be like in the summer and now I found out what it's like in the summer and I can't, I can't. <laughs> I think for somebody that has dry skin, this would be really nice in the summer. It's gonna give you that nice dew, you know, that nice healthy look. But for me, it was giving, you worked too hard today and you need to go sit down and take a break. I'm gonna have to pick this back up when it gets a little bit cooler. If I do some makeup tutorials in the future and y'all you know, start wondering where the foundation is, yeah, she's not coming out to play for a couple of months because I'm trying to tell y'all, I be looking like I'm working very hard and that's what it was giving so I had to stop. So recently, like for my makeup, what I've been trying to do is just concealer and I've gone back to my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I have the shade Butterscotch. I had this a long time ago, did a review on it, loved it, ran out of it and then I started trying different things and I just felt like I had to make my way back to it. Like look at the wand, the wand is everything. Like it's nice and it's large. Today on my face, all I have on is this concealer, setting powder, bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury, by the way. Y'all know she's that girl. Check my review if you haven't seen it. I did some Kaleidos blush and an eye look and that was it. I can't play with the foundations around my smile lines and I feel like things work out a little bit better for me when I don't have any product around my smile lines. It just looks better. In the summer, I recommend just doing some concealer, some setting powder and try to work around that. You don't necessarily need foundation. If your skin is like mine and it gets oily, skip the foundation, just do the concealer and keep it pushing, okay? So yeah, that's the makeup update. So now we're gonna get into the good stuff, okay? We're gonna get into fragrance. We gotta talk about your girl Kayali Young Pistachio again. My last video that I did, I reviewed it, and I think y'all know, based on the last video, like I just was not sold on that perfume. Like I was spraying it, I could barely smell it. I was up close and personal, and I just could not smell the perfume. Mixed reviews for my family. And then after that, I was like, you know what? $100 or whatever it was. I think it was $100, something that I had spent on that perfume. And I was like, I just gotta return it. Even though I like the fragrance, like I cannot justify this price for a fragrance that is not sticking around. Anyway, long story short, I ended up buying it again, okay? I, I wish y'all could understand how indecisive I am. I did a fragrance video back 
months and months and months ago and said that I hated certain perfumes and now I like them. I be changing my mind, y'all. I sure do. So now we're here and I have the fragrance, okay? I ended up having a gift card and I used a gift card to pay for this. So I think overall I ended up only spending and I got it again when the Sephora sale was happening. So it was like, it was perfect timing. I ended up spending like $45 on this. Let me tell y'all what I did. I bought the perfume again, sprayed it on myself and I was like, yeah, I do really like the fragrance. But I was like, let me try to let the perfume macerate because I've been seeing a lot of people talking about like letting fragrances macerate, especially Kaoli fragrances. And if y'all don't know what that is, that's when you like take off the top, you do like a couple of sprays, introduce oxygen to the fragrance and you like sit it in a dark place and just let it sit for a couple of weeks. But when I did that, this, it actually worked. So now when I wear this fragrance, I get at least, I'd say like six hours out of this fragrance because I wore it to work and I was able to smell it on my way home after work. I was really surprised by the fact that just by taking the top off and just sitting it alone in the dark, doing its own thing, allowing the fragrance to actually blend properly and like, I don't know the scientific terms, but doing what it needed to do in the dark. Now when I wear this, I get good wear time. I also spray it at nighttime, like before I go to bed sometimes, because I feel like it's a cozy scent to wear to bed, but it's still fresh. I can still smell it in the morning, so. It's working out. I like the fragrance still. It's not a love for me, but I really like it. I'm ready for them to come out with their new scent because I know something good is coming. I hope that they're taking all the feedback though into consideration because ideally nobody really wants to wait weeks for their perfume to start performing the way they want it to. So now I'm gonna just talk about a couple of new fragrances that I haven't talked about on my channel because I have actually been going kind of nuts with the fragrance and um, I'm stopping that. I have been buying perfumes like crazy lately and perfumes actually make me, they make me really happy like the way makeup makes me happy but like something about smelling good for me, it just settles me, it calms me, it makes me feel I don't know, it just makes me feel good, you know? But I have determined that I'm on a, a spending freeze right now from fragrance shopping because I wanna make sure that my collection is special to me and they're actually fragrances that I wanna wear. I don't wanna just keep picking up new perfumes just because they're new and they're just released, like no. I want my collection to feel like mine. I want it to feel like me when I wear it. Kinda signature, but always keep them guessing. They never know how you're gonna smell, but they know that certain scents are associated with you. Like that. So recently I picked up Namat's Amber Oil. You guys have seen me with the vanilla fragrance oil, but this one I never tried. I've repurchased the vanilla one a few times, but recently I saw this one in the store and I was like, let me smell it. I love this one. I low key feel like I like this one just a little bit more than the vanilla. Now I will say the projection on these is kind of low. This is definitely for more of like an intimate setting or layering. Like if you want to wear a perfume on top of this and try to get it to last longer, like that works. But oh my God, woo. Amber? Yeah, she's that girl. Vanilla's good, but Amber, I feel like, I wish I knew about this sooner. I wish I tried it sooner and didn't get so stuck on the vanilla. I kind of feel like I'm coming out of my vanilla gourmand era. But we'll see when winter comes if I go back. Right now, I'm into like the clean fragrances. The way that I can explain this one is like, very fresh out the shower. You know how your laundry smells when you get it fresh out the dryer? That kind of fragrance. And I didn't realize that amber smelled like that. I don't know why I was expecting something a little bit deeper when I got this fragrance oil, but it's so light. And I've been layering this with my perfumes and y'all, mm, the compliments that I have gotten, unreal. Let me show y'all how I've been layering this because it's been good. Glossier You, y'all, why didn't anybody tell me? Y'all could have told me. One of my coworkers had actually mentioned this fragrance to me like, last year, cause she thought I had it on. She was telling me that everybody wears Glossier U, but she didn't really like it. But she only liked it on certain people. And I was like, oh, okay. But I kind of like shrugged it off. I didn't really pay attention. Recently I went into Sephora and I was like, let me smell it. First time I sprayed it, I was like, uh, <laughs> what? It smelled like cardboard the first time I sprayed it. And even now, like when I smell it from the bottle, to me it kind of, I don't know, this is a terrible way to describe it, but it smells like pencil shavings and a little floral. And that does not sound appealing, does it, right? When you spray it on, I don't know what it does on the body. I don't know what it does on the skin, but it turns into like the most beautiful skin scent. This is one of those fragrances that you have to give a try. I think I've had this maybe for like two months. The liquid in this bottle is all the way down here. The first day I bought it, I sprayed it all over myself before I went to work. When I tell y'all five people at my job literally told me, oh my gosh, you smell so good. This went on for a solid week because I couldn't put it down. I was deep in it now. I felt like I was smelling so good I had to wear it every day. Every single day I wore it to my job, compliment. Every single 
dead. And the thing about this is the projection is kind of, well, I don't know if the projection is low or if I just go nose blind to it because after a while, I feel like I can't smell it. And even when I can't smell it, I'm still getting compliments. So I don't know if I go nose blind to it, which I don't like because I want to enjoy it just as much as the people around me. So anyway, these two together is like the perfect clean. Oh, and, and let me stop because I told you I was going to go back to this. These three together, all three, shower, use my little dove, then put this on, let it sit, rinse it off, get out, moisturize with my Aquaphor or like an unscented lotion, and then this, I'm not lying, I'm trying to tell the girls. And then I told y'all I have Baca right now, like the perfume that I said I hated that now I like. A little tiny doot doot of that, just a little bit. <laughs> You're set. I gotta move on because I'm talking about that for way too long, but I just want y'all to understand how good it smells for like an everyday kind of thing. Beautiful. So then after like the Glossier U business happened, then I was like, hmm, I need to explore more clean scents. I need to try something else. Ah. So now I'm over here at the Le Labo store. Now I'm sniffing around trying to figure out what I like from Le Labo because everybody's talking about Santal 33 and it's giving pickle juice. I can't, uh, mm -mm. I'm gonna have to try that again. I'm gonna have to try it again. I'm gonna have to give it another shot. But from what I smelled on first whiff, not a fan, not okay. Here I am now and I have another 13 and <laughs> woo! This one is giving musk. I just feel like I'm elevating and developing in my like fragrance girl era because I have not been a fan of musk, but this musk, it's like, it smells, okay, first of all, very unisex. Man, woman, everybody can wear this. I don't feel like it's leaning either way because I wouldn't feel like this is masculine on a woman, but I wouldn't feel like it's feminine on a man. Like it's neutral, it's right down the middle. Have y'all ever been in a relationship with somebody and you just like smell their neck and they just smell good? Like their their natural their natural scent is just like, like there's like a subtle sweetness to it, but their skin just smells like just, Mm. It's that clean boyfriend skin, you know? That clean boyfriend skin, the boyfriend that's doing right, he treats you really good, he makes your heart flutter. It's that skin. It's not the it's not the boyfriend that's stressing you out and making the whole thing toxic. Those guys have a different kind of scent, okay? No, it's the boyfriend that's doing you right. He just smells so like calming and comforting and you just wanna lay up under him all day. That's what this is giving. I love this. <sighs> yeah. Or like, like you just put his t-shirt on. Like he left his t-shirt at your house and you just put it on. Yeah. This is the right boyfriend. It's not the bad boyfriend that's stressing you out and making your hair fall out. He's, it's not him. It's not that guy. This is the one that has your skin glowing and everything is flourishing around you. You know, there's peace. That's what this Le Labo is giving peace. I love the fact that they make the fragrance right in front of you at Le Labo like that. I think it's so cute. I got my name on there and everything. It was so cute. Only thing was that you can't use the fragrance right after you get it. You have to wait a couple of days. And I wanna say it's better to wait for like two weeks after you get Le Labo fragrances to let it macerate and like let it all, what is it called? When things, um, what's that science term? Coagula, homogenous, what is it? Well, I might have failed science, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, but once it comes together and the fragrance is like doing its thing, beautiful, I love it. After I was at Le Labo, then I was like, ooh, mmm, I wanna try Byredo. And Le Labo and Byredo are right next to each other. And the first time I was at Byredo, like, the only one that I sprayed on my skin was Mojave Ghost. And I see a lot of fuss about that one, and it does smell nice, but to be honest, it was giving Marc Jacobs Daisy. And Marc Jacobs Daisy was back in high school for me. And I don't know, something about that was like, Whoa! it was making me think of myself when I was like 16. And I don't remember liking 16. I just took a break from that and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it one more shot. And I came across Ball de Freak. What? So now I'm like, girl, are you into like citrus fragrances now? Are you really into it? Yes, I am. And let me be straight up with y'all because I've been watching a lot of videos of people like flexing all the things that they're buying. Um, and I've been trying to figure out like, how can y'all afford all this stuff? Like these things are not cheap. None of this is cheap. When I buy stuff like this, it's because I have a gift card, okay? I had a really nice gift card. So I used part of my money to get this one and I used the majority of my gift card. So the price was much lower. And Ball the Freak as well. I got this on a discount site, okay? There was absolutely no way that I was gonna pay full price for this fragrance when I can find it on any discount site for like 
140. So that's what I did. We got her on a discount site. I tried it at the store and then I was like, thanks y'all. <laughs> Check out online and that's how we got that. And the reason I know this one is good because I got a compliment on, what was it? Two days ago I got a compliment on this. And I paired them together. I put the Namat oil on my wrist, on my neck, on my chest. And then I used this, another 13, and I was like, Tch. I didn't do too much because this one is strong. And then I went in with Bal de Freak and I was like, tch, 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 tch. and I put this one everywhere. Okay, it was everywhere. I put it on the back of my neck and somebody literally stopped me mid conversation was like, wait, you smell really good. What are you wearing? That's how I know it's good. If I'm getting a compliment and somebody has to stop me mid conversation to let me know that I'm smelling delicious and great and they want to know the name of it, yeah. We're doing it. The one thing that I've noticed about the Byredo is that it's like, it's not a loud fragrance. It lasted on my skin longer than I thought it would because based on some of the reviews, people were like, yeah, Byredo doesn't last. But I was like, okay. I got a solid seven hours out of this. And on my clothes, it was definitely still going, but like on the skin, by hour seven, I had to like get in close. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be a fragrance that I probably run out of. And for me personally, like I have a hard time going through fragrances because after a while, I kind of get sick of it. These fragrances that I have mentioned today so far, I feel like I'm gonna finish all of them and I would definitely repurchase this one. So the last two fragrances that I'm gonna show y'all, these are recommended from TikTok. One of them is a hit and one of them is a miss. Y'all know how TikTok is, like, the girls on TikTok are very convincing. So I ended up getting Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir Rose. I definitely picked this one up because of all the hype on TikTok. And, um, they didn't have the small bottle, like, uh, y'all know this sells out like this. I don't know if it's still selling out, but back when I got it, it was selling out. And they didn't have the small one. I only saw the big one, so I was like, I need to get it now. I'm like, I have to have it now. I was just acting stupid, okay? And I need to stop that. So, tube rose. Definitely, like, tube rose, tube rose, tube rose. I don't even know what else is in here. Maybe some plum? I think I get plum in there. But this one for me, maybe it's because of the season. I'm thinking because we're not in the season right now. I wore this when I first got it. Like y'all can see, there's a tiny, tiny little dent. I wore it, but I don't know right now, like this is not something I would spray on me. It's a very sultry, grown, I would say it's very grown. This is not for the girls that are like 24 and, and under. Like y'all are not gonna like this, too mature. It's gonna make you kind of think grandma. But for me, I don't know what it is. Like if I would have given myself a little bit more time to like test this and see if I really liked it, I don't think I would have bought this. Maybe we need to get to fall, winter, and, and I might appreciate this a little bit more, but for right now, I'm definitely kind of side-eyeing why this is in my collection. And I'm not ready to give it away, but when like fall and winter comes, if I'm not feeling this, then she's gonna make her way out. It's a good fragrance, but it's not mind-blowing. It's just not. Anyway, the last one was a complete hit for me. I've been wanting to get perfumes in Marley Oriana for a long time, but the price too steep. Even the discounter sites were a little steep and I found one site that had a really good deal and it still hadn't come back in stock. And now I haven't got the dupe because I see all these Arab perfumes going viral online and so many people are talking about this Arab perfume and saying how it's just as good as Oregano. I had an Amazon gift card and I was like, well, it's not gonna kill me. If I use my gift card up, at least it's not my money and I'm not gonna be too mad about it. Like, I'll get it, if I don't like it, it's fine. But, y'all, this right here. I've been seeing some negative reviews, but I've been seeing, like, rave reviews also. This is called Ensemble Gold by Latafa. Mm. It's definitely giving, like, a citrusy orange, marshmallowy, candy, fluffy kind of vibe. Like, it smells literally just like Oriana. And I don't, in limp, <laughs> I don't have Oriana in my collection, but what I do, I take my butt right up to Nordstrom and I go right in that tester section and I be Yes, I do, with no shame, okay? That's what the testers are there for because I want to test. And when I test, I do notice that like when I put Oriana on, I do have to kind of get up close. So I was noticing that like the projection on that fragrance just wasn't that good. And then I was looking to see some reviews and see what other people thought. A lot of people were saying Oriana was not worth the money. But Ensemble Gold, I've worn this. When I tell you this perfume lasts for hours and hours. I haven't compared them side by side and I want to, but from my recollection, I would say that these are probably like 97% 
like dupes. I also love Don't Be Shy, like that is not my favorite fragrance. It's very close to that as well, but it has more of like the feel of Oriana because Oriana to me is more powdery, more floral. There's something a little bit more like citrusy or something than Love Don't Be Shy. I know they're all very similar, but Love Don't Be Shy gives me more like syrupy and this gives me like powdery, citrusy, fluffy candy. It's such a girly, feminine fragrance. I feel like this was such a good buy and I'm so happy that I did not buy Oriana because I wanna say this is under $50. I had a $50 Amazon gift card and like with taxes and everything, I only spent $6 so. I'm winning, <laughs> I'm winning. Y'all gotta try it. I don't know if they sell samples, but if they do, try it. Y'all can see that I have been going a little bit nuts with the fragrances, but I'm stopping. That's it, until the Kayali one comes out, then I'm gonna get that. But I'm stopping, okay, I'm done. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. My favorites, I hope that you guys enjoyed the lighting changes that happened multiple times throughout the video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my fire alarm go off throughout the video. I know. I hope you heard my child in the background. Yes. If you like my content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Help me, oh, there it goes. Help me get to 20K. Give me that little bump so I can get to the top, okay? I'm trying to make it to 20K, and I know I haven't been consistent, but I still wanna make it to 20K. It'll give me the little oomph that I need, you know? I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't go past the